For Inju Velias, the MD and Portfolio Manager at Equity Intelligence India. For Inju, hi, uh, good morning. Always great to chat with you. And uh, what a strong ride it has been for Inju of late for the broader markets. What is your own sense? Is money to be made in individual stocks as always? Because, you know, like we were chatting with our earlier expert, he's saying valuations are getting a little bit toppish. It's a little uncertain time time to tread with caution but do you believe it's not the index but always the individual stocks which are going to continue to make money for shareholders uh, good morning Aisha uh, I think it's a very valid point our earlier uh, person also was talking about you know uh, uh, the valuation is ultimately the key in any markets uh, but India India is in a very special situation uh, when we talk about valuation so we have to see the Indian a high PE of 20 or 22, uh, you see, there is no doubt that India continues to be a stock pickers market. I would call it a stock pickers paradise instead. You know, that's the kind of uh, opportunities in India. Uh, you know, especially when you look back, you know, the way multi beggars are made in the last uh, five years. But uh, I, uh, I feel of late, you know, the Kabali stocks in India is really coming down. The number of the opportunities, Kabali stocks, I mean, uh, the multi baggers. Uh, you know, there are, there are uh, if you, when you look back in 2011, 12, 13 kind of years, I could see companies which can surely be, you know, going 10 times, 20 times, and some of them 30 and 40 times. And a lot of them, hundreds of stocks, you know, have performed that way already. But there are still multi baggers. But, but at the same time, that is declining, that's getting exhausted. A lot of people are in search of, uh, you know, good, good stocks. Uh, and you know value stocks among the small caps and mid caps in the last uh, maybe many months many few years so that is that is making that space you know multi bagger when i say in the short term to medium term multi baggers there are still multi baggers but investors should focus now on decent compounders going forward that is where you can you know really create wealth so the multi bagger era in general i am telling you it's over now it's a time for compounders but this compounding is ultimately creating multi baggers over a period of time. But Indian investors are spoiled so much, you know. A multi bagger means you make uh, a 2x or 3x in a short period, six months to one year or two years. Uh, so that is definitely a challenging uh, kind of activity is going to be. Uh, but India continues to be a stock picker's paradise. You, and Purinju, at this point of time, you're saying instead of hunting for multi bagger opportunities, good morning, of course. Uh, you're you're talking about staying put with quality. There are some interesting anecdotes that you've supplied as well about Kotak, Deutsche Bank, and a few others. Yeah. Now the quality doesn't mean you know you can you can find a bad quality which is trans getting transformed into uh, the quality league. That is where again you know you make big money. And India, fortunately, we have large number of such companies. You know the mid cap and small cap segment where, as we always used to discuss, the turnarounds happening in various aspects of the business. And in, in most cases, the attitude of the promoter is changing. That is how some of these uh, so-called penny stocks become coming to a quality league and they become multi-baggers and they, they change the space where they belong to. That is why we have many penny caps became small caps and many small caps already became mid caps. And many of the mid caps is getting into the large cap league. So that transformation, it is very special to India. It's very special to India considering the number of stocks getting into that kind of a league. And you know, see, smart investors are minting money in this country. Unfortunately, it is not getting widespread among larger, you know, millions and the crores of investors in India, potential investors. I strongly believe, uh, you know, Neeraj, we always used to talk about domestic potential of fund flow into the market. Now there are clear symptoms that domestic money is going to rule the markets in the coming years. FIS may or may not invest, it is up to them whether to take advantage of Indian opportunity. But I'm very confident, you know, the kind of things happening in the market like SIPs, it's changing the game. I'm telling you today, people are not taking it seriously, looking at maybe 1,000, 1,500 crores monthly collection under SIP. See, SIP, the, the most important part is it is going to be stable kind of a growth. And that can stabilize the too much volatile market in India. We always had that problem of depth in the markets. This SI piece will be the game changer. This 1,500 crores can go to 3,000 and 4,000 crores very soon per month collection. 
and who knows it can go to 20 and 30000 crores in the next 2 3 years time every month collection i'm talking about and indian economy our demography and our middle class you know structure is most suitable for sip investment i am very confident about that part of you know stock market the fund flow coming into, potential into the market and the fundamentals of course we have a lot of bright spots lot of things to look forward unlike most other countries in the world today and most of the economies in the world today. yes indeed and purinju you know we've been running uh, tweet uh, your queries to purinju ask purinju and we've been getting a slew of viewer queries as well for you and that is something that our viewers are looking forward to so let's quickly take up some of their queries and i'm going to pick up the first one on the sugar sector considering purinju you uh, start of the hour identified this sector and this is really made money for viewers so roditi singh uh, writes in saying that what's your view on the sugar sector now after the gains that the sector's already seen what would your advice be to her pareju <laughs> i know aisha i know when a sector is so very hot and it is in too much fancy then everybody start querying on the sector actually when things are bad one should make queries you know now see many smart investors not only me many smart investors in this country they identified sugar sector one year ago and one and a half years ago at the right time at the inflection point made huge money many of them i, I remember i was speaking uh, the average sugar at 25 30 rupees so going it has gone 10 times in one and a half years so that is how many of the sugar stocks have performed again don't forget this is a cyclic industry and uh, i think it's already well fancied so it is most of the good things happening in the industry is priced in and some of them may be a bit overpriced uh, you know i am not telling uh, in individual stocks so this is time um, investors should have a conservative look at uh, sugar sector at this uh, this point of time orinjo you will you will you will stay invested you think the cycle still has some legs to go <laughs> there could be some more space you know i i normally don't wait for the peak you know because peak and all peak and bottoms happen accidentally or, or by luck uh, so when things are you know when when i find something the value is 100 rupees today it's available at 20 rupees so it is called a potential five bagger so 20 rupees you buy normally you don't wait for 100 rupees you you may start exiting at 70 80 kind of prices got it so that is always better yeah okay so maybe selectively start uh, booking profits if you have them in the sugar space i think that's, that's the advice i still love that dcm sriram limited one, one stock we are still holding from okay okay i think we just get that line going again but dcm shriram let's bring that stock up for our viewers stock i think under sorry purinj so stay invested in dcm shriram is what your uh, thought is right okay okay dcm shriram it is from uh, uh, purinj's end right now that is that one space that he's one stock that he still bullish on the other one and there are some multiple queries here purinj on this one i'm choosing the one from alok nangalya he is asking you to provide your inputs on future consumer enterprises for a long term perspective <laughs> yeah this this talk uh, neeraj if you remember one of our uh, you know uh, big picture big stocks picture. Uh, we we talked uh, almost a year ago uh, actually the stock has doubled uh, since i have been buying the stock under pms again uh it is now at around uh, nearly 4000 crores market cap uh, uh this is a futuristic business and it's a very i know one of the perhaps the only solid balance sheet company in the group and uh, i like you know the the their business model the the food parks uh, and the food processing packing grading and you know so which is all in the infancy in this country and ultimately selling through the, their own network like nilgiris etc and uh, it, it's a well integrated uh agri rural company not rural you know it, it is in the cities also so it is one of the very good business model and which has, which has a potential to be multi bagger over a period of time see the stock used to be at 5 rupees uh two and a half three years ago then it became 10 at 10 rupees i was really liking this company i had even tweeted at around 10 rupees and i think we discussed it at 14 15 rupees and even at 20 rupees now i think it's around 21 22 rupees see there is no hurry for these are not not stocks for traders to make any short term gains at this point of time these are the stocks now one can make the earlier compounding 
this are this one of the very good stock for a compounding uh, returns uh, it can even give you 25 percent kind of compounded return if you see next 5 to 10 years time so Parinjo, what are those other interesting pocket, pockets that you are researching or already libning in on? Anything that's looking good with the current valuations for a buy? Uh, uh, I was just looking at, you know, the railway com railway stocks. Hmm. Uh, no, normally people buy the stock during the time of railway, but just a lot of fancy created, some operators will be looking it up. Uh, and this actually the railway budget was uh, fabulous this time the way they have they are given a visibility for the future uh, the future expenditure and future expansion so it's 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 uh, it's, it's uh, very uh, impressive and then mostly traders are buying into this kind of stocks and then they start selling now they have come down to uh, one year low kind of levels so maybe when these stocks are not fancy you know there are many stocks i don't want to really tell individual names Still, I think there are Titago Wagons and Texmark Royal kind of many companies. Um, so investors, um, uh, you know, when there is so much money spent by the government in the railway, even with private participation, there will be some companies which are supplying into the infra of this uh, segment. Uh, they can, they will be getting huge orders going forward, and uh, they can create huge wealth. Some of these companies are debt-free and clean, clean companies, well-managed ones. They are. They are, uh, they are ready to take advantage of the future. Maybe the current numbers are not attractive because in this kind of a business, when you expect a great future, the numbers may be not reflecting today. So you should have the insights into the future, how these companies are going to be performing in numbers after one year, two year and three years. So from that perspective, I think some of them are underpriced. Okay. So do your homework is what Puriju is saying, but Railways is probably one sector that could give you returns if you choose the right stock. Purinju, what else? What theme looks good for somebody to make an investment in from a two-year perspective? It may, I don't want a stock recommendation, but where railways is one theme. What else is looking attractive? Another small segment again, uh, Neeraj, I was again looking at uh, you know, some of the old generation private banks. Now, banking had a very too much volatile times in the last couple of years. Um, now, there is a lot of apprehension still about the public sector uh, banks, which even I do have. I'm not, I do not understand that well, you know, to predict uh, something. But uh, I think now the federal bank, South Indian bank, they are in Kerala in my native place. Uh, so some of them looks underpriced. Uh, because if you see the, how these companies over the last many decades have been operating in this country and they've created huge infrastructure, client relations and, you know, hugely asset rich also. So they have been going through some uh, bad phase along with all other banks uh, with regard to the NPS. But now there is uh, some feel, you know, that NPA things are picking out, the problems are picking out. Uh, and you see now federal bank kind of stocks, it looks like they will be record making record profits going forward. And uh, the valuation now federal bank is at around 10,000 crores market capitalization. Uh, South Indian bank also should be around 3,000 crores kind of a market cap. I think there's a lot of margin of safety in this kind of banks. So if somebody feels, you know, banking sector is a long way to go in this country, uh, I would, I, this is a sector like old generation private banks. Some of them are getting transformed into the new generation style by operations and by technology and they are, the way they're adopting the new things. So that is a sector investors should watch for, for reasonable returns. Okay. Orinju, uh, about time for two more queries. Uh, Ayesha has a very interesting query and I'll let her take the final one. Uh, but just a quick one. Uh, Somebody is asking to check with you for Ceylon Exploration. Have you ever looked at that stock? Yeah, I have always looked at this stock. <laughs> this is one of uh, my core portfolio holding an underperformer in the last two years uh, because of that perhaps un unexpected kind of uh, decline, that the steepness of the decline you know, in, in the crude oil price. But it's a very clean company with uh, cash uh, rich balance sheet uh, available at a throwaway price today. We continue to hold the stock. Uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, they are expanding their production capabilities and more and more uh, wells are being drilled. Um, so at this kind of a, I think it has got an enterprise valuation of only around 150 crores. Around 120, 130 crores cash the company is sitting on. It's a debt free company. Um, of course, the management is not very transparent, so there are some issues in those regards. 
but it looks like uh, you know uh, it should give some more return from these levels. Right. But into just one more question, and she's not going to forgive me if I don't take this one for you. It's from your wife. She's tweeted saying, hashtag ask Purinju, what would you like to have for dinner today? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay, you can reply that to her in private, but I thought no, I, I must take her question. You know, she diligently tweets all of Purinju's views and in interviews. Okay, so Purinju, that's a valid question, right? Litty Purinju is asking, what would you want to have for dinner tonight? I can I can say perhaps you know I may like some nice um, rice with dawat and uh, maybe you know some veggies and uh, curd from Nilgiris. Uh, looks interesting. <laughs> they stop who, making who even owns, in that. <laughs> yeah, but who owns Nilgiris, Purinju? What is the name of the company? Future Consumer. Okay, Future Consumer owns Nilgiris. Dawat uh, is the rice brand owner, so Purinju mixes markets. Even there, that's very, very interesting. Fruits. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but Always great chatting with you, Purinju. Thanks so much for taking the time out and more importantly, addressing some of those viewer queries. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.